Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts and fellow giddy gangsters. Del Puckett here with what could be one of my most intense, crazy, extreme cigar box guitar video lessons. Okay, so right off the bat I'm tuned EBE. All right, so. Uh, this is going to involve a lot of what I call chromaticism, which is using every note, or almost every note. And so we're not really thinking of, of a key necessarily, other than maybe just the open. And whatever the open is, that's going to be the same thing as the 12th fret or the double dot. So whatever you, you're tuned to, it doesn't matter here. We are tuned EBE for this example, but whatever you are tuned to, for the open, all of these licks will work. Okay, for example, I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna rapid fire a bunch of these licks. I'll do my best to explain them, but the the general idea here is anything goes, everything goes, nothing is off limits. There are no rules. There is two rules. Uh, the first rule is there are no rules. The second rule is refer to number one. The first rule. Okay, so yeah, so it doesn't matter. There's no such thing as mistakes other than just. Uh, maybe notes that you won't repeat necessarily because um, you don't like them or maybe you do like them, but you, you uh, choose not to use them. It doesn't matter. The point is, is that we're going to just just go for it. This is a basically a free-for-all lesson, okay? Um, I don't even know where to start because there's so many, so many ideas and so many options. You're going to see as we get started here that it's just going to be just a freaking hailstorm of just crazy notes. Okay, so for example here, you guys have heard me do, do this lick. So basically, I'm starting off here at the 12th fret. Again, that's the double dot, the 12th fret, with my ring finger, my index finger, and that's just a, a pull-off. And then I switch to my middle finger and my index finger, and I do pull-offs here, 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 all the way down to the 5th fret. And then it's and then it's the uh, goes back to the ring finger and index finger. So this is the way it sounds. But of course, you just do it fast. So that so this area here where it's using every note that's called chromaticism. Now, if I want to go backwards, then I'm going to go from the third and second fret, then the fifth and third fret, then my chromaticism, all the way up to the 10th fret, and then back to the 12th end. This is the way it sounds. And then you put them together, you get... Now, if you miss a note, or you put an extra note, or you leave out a note, it don't matter, right? It's the whole idea of just like pulling ass, right? So, and then and then you can go like up, then down, and then up, further, then down, and then up, and then down, and then back up, and then back down. So, I mean, you can just change directions, reverse directions, whenever, however you feel like. It don't matter, right? So, so I'm going to give you some examples of just going going up, and then coming back, and then going all the way down, and then coming up halfway, and then going back. Here, this way it sounds. Whatever. Okay, so that's just one example. I'm going to give you another example. Now, this example here can be expanded on infinite, infinitely. And so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing what I call a target note. So in this case here, I'm going to target the open string. So I have to, so if I'm going to target that string, that means I'm going, I'm going towards that string or going towards that note, this open note here. Um, so I'm going to count up uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight here happens to be at the seventh fret. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the reason why I pick eight is because eight is divisible by four, which is most beats are four, four, four beat, right? One, two, three, four. Doom, doom, cat, doom, 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 cat. So I can so I can subdivide these licks so that I'm targeting to a, a land on or arrive at the target note on the beat. For example. Now right there, I'm just doing the stair step here. That's all it is. This has no no name, no chord. I mean, you could actually put a name to it. I just call it the stair step, right? I'm just going and I'm counting to myself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you don't have to like do, do this with your fingers. You can just leave your fingers down and just move it. Now here's here's like I said like you can do you can change this up however you like instead of starting here at the seventh fret I start at the eighth fret and that le that means that I'm going to end up here which gives me a whole step between my target and my the last note here so this is going to go one two three four five six seven eight okay this is the way it sounds. So it kind of gives it like the uh, more of a musical, less chromatic sound. Okay, so if we're gonna go down with this idea, then we can also go up with this same idea. So here we are. This we're gonna target this twelfth note here, the twelfth fret. We're gonna target it. So that means we're gonna go down uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and look where it starts here at the fifth fret. So if we start off here, then we, then we land on our target note on the beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now again, if you want to have a, a half step in between your second to the last note in your last note, then all you got to do is just start off one note lower here. So we're going to start off here at the fourth fret. This is the way it sounds. Isn't that cool? Yeah, okay, so there's so many, so many tricks and applications that you can just do this crazy nonsensical um, what do you call it? Um, there's a like not linear, but uh, nonlinear. I don't know what you call them. Um, ah, there's a word I can't think of. Okay, but anyhow, so yeah, so practice that um, and, and have fun. Now, so that's just this stair step. Okay, you can do the same thing with this stair step. Okay, so in so instead of going up the stairs or down the stairs, right? You're just changing the angle of the stairs. Um, Or you, and, and you can go up or down. And I'm just doing sweet picking over here. Again, you're going to be targeting a note, subdividing, dividing, and then moving chromatically. Okay, so. I like saying that. Okay, so. For example, here's some more nonsense, crazy chromatic, chromaticism licks that don't make any sense at all. So we're going to start off with our index finger here at the third fret. My middle finger is going to be responsible for the notes on the fourth fret, and my ring finger is going to be responsible for the notes on the fifth fret. Now, just to make it easy, you could just do one string at a time. One, two, three. 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 Up and down. And you can also do a pull off. Pull off. But what I like to do is 
string skip. In other words, index finger does these notes, middle finger does these notes, and ring finger does these notes. And you can just mix up any note that you like. Okay, moving right along. What I like to do is what they call X patterns. And what I mean by an X pattern is you're going to combine this with this. You're going to combine that, and this is the way it sounds. This is the way it looks. So you can see it's like a little X pattern, right? You have a line going this way and then a line going this way. And so get that under your under your fingers. And then move it around. And you can put, again, because these are nonsensical, you can put them anywhere, everywhere, um, right? You just use your ears to, to and again, I like to do here at the, at the third fret, this is kind of like a good place to start off. Okay, so that's the X pattern. Okay, so the next one here is, is what we call the spider. Spider. And um, again, we're gonna keep it, we're gonna, we're gonna do a little box here. We're gonna start off here at the third fret, fourth fret, and fifth fret. Now we're gonna start off on the high string, index finger, one note. And then my middle finger is gonna come up here to the fourth fret, index finger, middle string, uh, third fret. So you get one, two, three, and then my ring fingers, fifth fret, here's the stair step again, then back to the middle string, middle finger, fifth fret, uh, ring finger, that, and then middle finger, fourth fret, ring finger, fifth fret, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and you can also go backwards. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the reason why I call it the spider is because that's the way your fingers look. Now that's moving basically through this little box here at a diagonal going this way, right? You're just diagonally moving through the box and then diagonally going that way through the box. Now, if you're gonna go diagonally through the box at an angle this way, you can also go through the box at an angle this way. This is the way it sounds. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. chromatic licks um okay so yeah i could keep going i could keep going but then this video would be a long video and, and uh, plus i gave you plenty there to work with for a long time for many hours um and then the goal is to just mix mix it up mash them all together just combine licks 
And like I said, it's going to be kind of nonsensical, nonsensical at first. It's going to be nonsensical all the time. It's the, the goal is to be nonsensical. Okay. Does that make sense? All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the shirt and the hat. And we'll be sure to see you in the next video. Hey, man. Cheers, guys.